All right, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to make detailing products for pennies on the dollar that can do this. Wow, that's a lot of neat stuff. I know you're wondering, how do we get all that for pennies on the dollar? I'll tell you what, we'll be using an all-purpose cleaner from a company, Kokemi. Kokemi, you knew I knew how to say it. How could I not? I just like calling them Kochkemi anyway. But today's product is Green Star by Kokemi. It's a 12.5 on the, on the pH scale, which means it's got some teeth. You know what I mean, Skull. You need teeth to get the stuff off the, off the panel or off the fabric or off the surface without too much agitation. Here's the catch when you're mixing up your own products or using professional products in general too much teeth, too much pH, and you're gonna damage the surface. Not enough, and you're gonna be damaging the surface by agitating the living you know what out of it, and we don't want that. A lot of products that we do use, Gentle Snow Foam's an example, pH neutral. That's designed to encapsulate, lubricate, so that when you agitate, you can get it off the surface easily. But everybody constantly asks, hey, I don't care about the foam. I don't care about how slick or sm how it smells. How does it clean? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna show you today how to adjust the cleaning power of different products, and we're gonna do it on the cheap. But keep in mind, test, test, test before you go guns blazing all over the vehicle, spraying a powerful cleaner around and damaging your surface. A lot of times on different YouTube channels or you'll see people spraying down a farm truck and then they run a hose over it and everything melts off. And then someone that has a Lambo or something nice is thinking, wow, that's gonna make cleaning easy. There's consequences to the high pH products. If it dries on the paint, it'll leave spots. Too much product and not enough water, I'm telling you what, it's gonna damage the surface. So just be careful. These are my go-to dilution ratios and they're a good starting point. But remember, the lighter the chemical, the better. The less agitation, the better. Always start on that end of the spectrum, work your way up and get yourself a routine down. So that's the best thing I can uh, say to you. But with no further delay, that's my my spiel that's my disclaimer <laughs> you want to clean and you want to do it for cheap let's get started all right so first let's take a look at the engine bay they are nasty they're greasy they need some good cutting power so we're gonna mix it up strong one to five dilution ratio that's two and a half ounces of all-purpose cleaner with 13 and a half ounces of water put into our sprayer and put it on there you can see this is foaming up great. I like it a lot. Easy to use our, I use my wheel brushes in here, get in all those areas. I use the brush that makes sense for the task. The big green is one of my favorites. Follow up with my boar's hair and get in those tight and hard to reach areas. And that uh, wheel barrel brush tends to get in those spots nice too. Hit it with the pressure washer. Be careful not to just gun it right into all your electronics. Be smart about it. Use our leaf blower, get it dry. And wow, look how faded that is. Don't worry, it was on there before we started, but we can fix it. Let's get our blackout ceramic uh, plastic and rubber coating. We're gonna throw it on there. This stuff works amazing. Easy to put on, turns it really black and look at that finished product, better than new. Next, let's talk about wheels and tires. Wheels and tires, yes, there's dedicated cleaners that I like a lot, but I wanna give this a chance. Let's go with that one to five dilution ratio again, two and a half ounces of APC, 13 and a half water in the sprayer and put it on the tire. Look at that foam, that stuff works amazing. Get inside those wheel barrels. We're gonna see how good this cleans. Now, admittedly, these tires and rims just weren't that dirty, but they weren't clean either. Seems like the dirt's just falling right off. 
no effort whatsoever. I like it. Not as strong as a dedicated like Adam's wheel and tire, but, but definitely some good power there. Rinse is off super easy. Hit it with that leaf blower and get it dried up and let's see how good we can get these looking. I like to always use a spray sealant right on the rim faces just to keep it nice and hydrophobic. Of course, we're gonna hit it with that black. And there it is, all cleaned up. Wow, that looks amazing. Works pretty good, pretty good. Let's talk about bug and tar in a pre-treat type situation. We'll go with a one to 10 ratio, one and a half ounces of all-purpose cleaner to 14 and a half ounces of water. Put it in the sprayer and hit those tough to clean areas that require a lot of agitation. There's no need to agitate. Let's let the chemical do the work. You can see already, it's just blowing off the dirt. There's some tar on there, uh, just some hard to get stuff that doesn't come off easy with the pH neutral products, but it's just melted off with this stuff. There's the before, and look at that after. And we still are gonna follow up with an agitation phase, but, but that's a good start for a pre-treat. Next, let's talk about a soap additive. How do we get a pH neutral soap to actually do some heavy lifting and get some cleaning action? I'll tell you what, you already know what I'm gonna say. We're gonna add some all-purpose cleaner to the snow foam. One to one ratio. We're gonna go 1.75 ounces of all-purpose cleaner to 1.75 ounces of soap and follow up with 28 ounces of water, giving us a nice, uh, good dilution. I don't expect a ton of foam. It's kind of on the thin side. It's not great. It's not the most foamy product, but I'll tell you what, I know it's gonna clean after that pre-treat method. We got a nice coating all over the car. And I'll tell you what, when I first started working it, I thought, wow, it's really slick. It's got that uh, gentle snow foam uh, slickness coupled with that green star cleaning of power, man. How cool is that? These wash buckets work insane. Look at those logos on the front. I like them. <laughs> They're nice looking, man. They got that Hawaii theme. And I'm noticing as I come down around the bottom that the dirt's just peeling off. Again, I'm being careful not to let this dry. Hit it with the pressure washer, get it all rinsed off. Hit it with that leaf blower and you're about ready to see the cleaning power. Look at that. That is like a mirror, man. I mean, that looks insane if you ask me. I don't know what more you want. <laughs> Let's talk about interior. Now we're into the delicate. It's delicate on an interior. We got to be careful in here. So we're going to go really light on this one. We're gonna go with a one to 20 ratio. That's 0.7 ounces of all-purpose cleaner with 15.3 ounces of distilled water now. I don't want any minerals in the water. We'll spray it onto our microfiber towel, wipe it along that area in the car where you tend to get the body oils. And I'll tell you what, it's spreading easily. It's evaporating right after I put, uh, put it on and it cleaned really good. Yes, it wasn't insanely dirty, but boy, it's really clean and it did a good job. Left no residue also, that's important. Look at this. Worked great and that's a really mild uh, dilution ratio and you can even go milder. So I hit the door jams, stuff that usually is kind of a pain to get off, just came right off like brand new. Steering wheel, same thing. You got the body oils from your hands and it just tended to melt right off of there too. Uh, turned out looking amazing. Now let's talk about everybody's favorite, cleaning upholstery, cleaning seats, cleaning carpets, or anything like that. We'll start out today with a one to 20. That's 0.7 ounces APC and 15.3 ounces of distilled water again, just like the interior cleaner. We're gonna spray it onto the seat. A lot of times I'll use my IK sprayer to make it simple, but I mixed this up for the interior, so I used it on the seat too sprayed it on it's foaming nice i don't want a ton of product on there because i want it to be easy to get off when we run the extractor now this seat appeared to be kind of clean let's see how much more it'll get out of it so back and forth side to side with the drill brush and really get it agitating and there it is it's coming out nicely and i can already tell we're gonna get some of that brown stuff in that container you know what i mean <laughs> so we hit it with the extractor 
couple passes. It wasn't a heavy amount of soap onto the, or cleaner onto the fabric, so it's gonna be really easy to get it out. But again, keep going over the fabric, plain water in your extractor only, so that you can pull all that soap out of the fabric and get it super clean. And there is a process that you can use that I'm gonna be showing on the channel soon to dress it after so that you have a, a good long lasting uh, clean. But check this out. Look how much came out of a relatively clean seat. This stuff works great. That's the bottom line with it. It works awesome. And it's a very versatile product. So it'll get you through all these different processes and pennies, I mean pennies, 0.7 ounces. This stuff was, I, I think it was like 60 bucks for one point something gallons. It lasts forever and it's gonna be insanely cheap. Uh, check it out. I'll leave links to everything that I use down in the description for all my processes and all the products. I always appreciate it when you buy them through the links. It supports the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, come on. You want to be a part of this channel or not? <laughs> I'd love to have you. That's the bottom line. And we'll see you on the next one. And this stuff is awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna be using that. I'll tell you what, my favorite thing is you get something really gnarly, you can bring that pH up and get it cleaned up. You have something really gentle, you can take care of it. But I wanna say this one last time before I get off the camera. There are plenty of ready to use products that are all thought out, they're bottled nice, they smell good. The dilution ratio is such so that you really can't go wrong. The chance of damaging surfaces is pretty small. There's on the wheel cleaners, they have different additives put in like rust inhibitors and this and that and the other. So you have to think about when a, when a uh, detailing product manufacturer makes it, they put a lot of thought into it and do a lot of neat stuff to separate their product from others. But I think that this is a great way to go when you want your own custom tailored dilutions for the task you want. That's all I got. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, yeah, you thought I forgot. <laughs>